I'm Hillary, this is Andrew, our dog Dexter, and our van Dolly. We are Dolly the Rambler. Our van is a 2016 Ram Pro Master 1500. Um, we have an ARB awning, which is, allows us to have a nice outside space when we're at camp. And we also have this uh, table that drops down that allows us to eat outside or cook outside if we want to. And uh, the other thing on the outside, this is a water fill port where we can fill up our water tank. And our home gym. Come inside so we can show you more of our van. This is our kitchen. Uh, over here is the sink. We have a block in it right now, which is so that Hillary can use it as a bedside table or we can use it as additional uh, countertop space. If you take it out, you can see it's a fairly deep sink. Put that back in. This was uh, a lot of work for Hillary. She had to do a ton of sanding. Over here we have the main countertop. This is where we do most of our food preparation and cooking. Uh, for cooking we have two types of stoves. We have an induction cooktop and a butane stove, so we use those depending on how much power we have. Um, underneath the main countertop we have our fridge. This is a truck fridge. It has quite a bit of space and a little bit of freezer space as well. And then over here are the three cabinets for our kitchen area, or three drawers for our kitchen area. The top drawer is silverware and appliances. The middle drawer is a whole crap ton of stuff. Uh, blender and cooking of wares and stuff like that and some extra food. And then the bottom drawer is actually the step to get into the bed. So it works like this. Dexter can use that as well. And then underneath that we have uh, some more kitchen stuff and actually our three-person inflatable kayak is in there. Don't forget the hidden drawer. Oh yeah, that's special. I forgot it because it was hidden. <laughs> Ooh, see that's where we keep our butane stuff. That just uses these little guys. Oh, I didn't do any of the overhead stuff, so let's talk briefly about that. Uh, these drawers stay closed with these pop lock drawer locks. Um, I think they're made by Sea Dog. They open up and they stay up with these little uh, pneumatic gas struts. And so we just have some various supplies in here, like medicine and things like that. And then the most here. important cabinet. Most important cabinet. Coffee, Coffee and tea. And, tea. <laughs> and monitors for our systems. So this is the solar monitor. We're getting 140 watts right now. Our battery is at 100%, and it is currently a balmy 36 degrees inside right now. Brr. <laughs> Two more things that I forgot to show the first time around is we installed a CR Lawrence louver window. So that allows us to open these louvers whenever we're cooking. And the second thing that I forgot, it's very important for this little guy, is his little storage area down here. Ooh, this peanut butter is for him, it says dog on it. That's so we don't mix it up and accidentally <laughs> eat it. And then underneath, I'm not going to open it all the way because we got some stuff on it, but this is a little drawer for his stuff. And yeah, so he's got a few things in here, like some warm weather clothing, and this is a costume. It's a Skeledog costume. And some additional toys like this ball. Oh, you want this? So this is our sink cabinet. We have a little hidden drawer underneath. Here we keep uh, soap for doing dishes. And we also have the on-off switch for our pump. And then below that, we have the under sink area. And this is our 16 gallon fresh water tank, which gets filled from the outside. And then it goes through a pump and an accumulator up to the sink, to the faucet. And then we also have our trash can here, which is a Camco trash can. And then we have a recycle bin here. Welcome to our bedroom. Here we have um, a bedside table like Andrew showed you earlier. We've got cup holders for, you know, when we need to have a beverage in bed. 
we have our lights, uh, controls, and also power. And that's the same for Andrew on his side. We also have two tufted headboards these, and a footboard. Um, these are very nice and luxurious and soft. They're awesome. And we use them to rest up against. And then, of course, the bed. And any bedroom isn't complete without our clothes. So these are my clothes. And Andrew's clothes are in the back cabinet. Yes, that's all of the clothes that we have, except for our winter jackets, which are stuffed somewhere else. All right, so in order to convert our bedroom into our dining room, we just simply move the pillows. Flip over the top mattress. Slide in the bottom support of the bed. Place the pillows back on. And that's it. We have a nice dining room table with a big table. We've got two bench seats so we can slide the table around. We made it really big so we could play board games and whatnot. Now to show you some of our storage that we have available in our dining room. The bench seats made a perfect opportunity for us to kind of tuck some things away. We have storage in both of the backs of our bench seats. So here we have some board games and a bit of our electrical system. And on this side is the rest of our electrical system with some vents to help, uh, you know, make sure the inverter is cool enough, especially when we're in warmer temperatures. There's one here in the front and one in the back. On the opposite side, we have our toilet here in the bottom and then just some other things. And also some storage back here in the back of our seat. So we tried to create as much storage areas as possible throughout the van because it was something we were worried about. Come to find out, we didn't need to be as worried as we were. Here is where we document all of our travels. We have a map of the United States, so we've documented all of our major stops along the way for the first year. We didn't have a map for Canada and Alaska, so we basically just used that postcard and said, look, we went through Canada to Alaska. I know it's not great, but it's what we did. Anyways, it's been a great first year, and we're excited to see where we go in our second year. So this is our garage. This is where we store most of our gear. Uh, I'm going to show you where we keep our four bicycles. They're on a little slide-in, slide-out tray. So to slide them out, you have to push down on these red levers here. And that unlocks the drawer slides. And as you're pulling it out, you kind of have to push the left screen out of the way. Otherwise, it'll get a little caught up. And when it's fully out, it's locked. So if you're not on level ground, uh, the bikes won't go sliding back into the van when you're trying to get them out. And then we also have this ladder here, which we use for getting on top of the van if we need to work on the solar panels. So now I'll demonstrate putting the bikes back in. Just push down on these red buttons, slide it back in, making sure to grab the mosquito screen as you're doing that. Magnets back close. That's it. Doing the van shuffle. Hey, buddy. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching our van tour. We have a much longer van tour on uh, my yoga YouTube channel, which is at fit for this journey. You can find us on Instagram at dolly.the.rambler. And we love to answer all van life questions and meet up with people. So uh, send us a direct message or leave us a comment. Thanks, guys. Hi. Bye. Bye.